director in Budi Mulia Dua Seturan. Today, I'm going to read a book. Are you excited? The title is Mr. Winkle. I think this book tells us about an elephant, right? Let's start it. Mr. Winkle was an elephant. And not just an any elephant. He was the oldest, wisest elephant in all of Africa. He knew the names of all of the other animals for miles around because, let's not forget, an elephant never forgets. Wow, this is Mr. Winkles. Mr. Winkles made the same long journey out the waterfall each day. He spoke to all the brightly colored birds who told him about the things they had seen on their travels. Wow, I think Mr. Winkles liked to talk. They told him about the lions out on the plain and the crocodiles who were making a nuisance of themselves in the river again. This is Mr. Winkles talking with the other birds about the other animals. He spoke to the giraffe who were already marching on their ribbons. It was their fabric. Acacia leaves. They told him about the morning before the sun had risen and were kind enough to share some of their leaves with him. Mr. Wingles enjoyed having his breakfast at the water hole very much, but could not stay long. He had to walk a long way to see his friend, Mr. Cheetah. Wow, this is Mr. Cheetah. On his way, Mr. Winkle felt the ground move beneath him and before he knew it, he was stuck in a big hole. Being wise, he did not panic. He knew that there must be a way out. He just had to think. What should I do? He had a long look around to see who was there and move his leg. The hole was deep and cold and come up to his middle. After a few minutes, he decided to call out for help. Poor Miss Wing. Help me! He shouted out. I'm stuck in the hole and can't move. He wiggled some more until finally he decided to stop and wait for someone to arrive. Very soon, a tiny head appeared. It was a meek name. A tiny head appeared. He wiggled some more until finally he decided to stop and wait for someone to arrive. Very soon, a tiny head appeared. It was Mirka, named Eddie. Hello, Mr. Winkle. I was just out playing with my brothers and sisters and thought I heard something. Do you need a hand? Asked Eddie. I do, my friend. Could you help me get out of this hole, please? Said Mr. Winkle. Just then, another tiny head appeared, then another and another, until he was completely surrounded by Mirkat. Mirkat. I'm sorry. Mr. Wingles knew all their names, but could not say hello to anyone. It would take far too long. It would take far too long. Hello everyone, he said. Please could you help me? I'm stuck. Hello everyone, he said. Please could you help me? I'm stuck. But how can we help you? You're so big and we're so small, someone said. Don't you worry, Eddie. Don't you worry, Eddie said. I have an idea. There's a lot of us. We will find someone to get you out there. Wow, good idea, I guess. Eddie and his brothers and sisters began to spread out to search of help. 
It was not long until they found the giraffe called Spot. Spickle and Freckle who were more than happy to help their old friend. The giraffes with their long necks each pulled a branch down from a nearby tree and told Mr. Winkle to hold on tight. He wrapped his he wrapped his trunk around the long branches and with heave and a rope, he pulled as hard as he could. But he was just a little. He stopped to rest because it was very, very hot day. As they tried to decide what to do, a hundred birds of all different colors flew down from the bright sky to sit on his back. They flapped their wings with all their might to try to lift him while he pulled again with his long trunk and moved a little bit more. A few hours later, as Mr. Winkle was thinking he would never get up, a big white beast called Cliff, with long, pointy horns, found the group. Hello, Mr. Winkle. I heard a horror bill saying that you were stuck. Can I offer you my assistant? Oh, yes, please. I will appreciate it very much, said Mr. Winkle. Cliff stood behind Mr. Winkles and together they flapped and pulled a chair and pushed until, with a short and a roll, Mr. Winkle climbed out of the hole. Wow! Good job! Thank you very much, my friend, Mr. Winkles said. You are all very special to me. I would not have been able to get out of the hole without each and every one of you were working together as a team. He looked at all the animals, gathered around and smiled. My meeker friends, even though you are small, there are many of you and your voice bears the word of my problem far and wide. Spot, Speckle and Freckle, you long neck help reach the higher branches for me to hold on to. My bird friends, even though you are not very strong, together you wing are stronger the strongest lion. And finally, Cliff, my good white beast friend, you are fast and strong, say Mr. Eagle. Thank you everyone for being such a good friends. Even though all of you are different, you are all very special indeed. This is a day I will never forget. Mr. Winkle celebrated that evening with all his friends and thanked them and promised that he will always be there if they ever fell into the pool. Wow, what a great story about relationship, about friendship in the jungle, I guess. Well, kiddos, thank you for watching. That's the story. I wish you have a good friends around you too. And happy fasting! See you again!